country, the number of people who've been reporting symptoms of a mysterious illness in Eluru in the West Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh has gone up to 556. The good news, however, is that 458 people have been discharged and only 98 are hospitalized at the moment undergoing various tests. A team of doctors from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences has found lead and nickel in four blood samples. Uh, more are being tested to zero in on the possible cause of what really is happening. Uma Sudhir has the details. About uh, four samples of uh, blood have shown up in uh, lead and nickel and that's the reason why they have now sent across uh, 40 samples because uh, the sample of five that are sent across out of which four were found positive for lead and nickel in the blood, uh, that seemed uh, too small a sample and therefore they have now sent 40 samples of not just blood but also urine, stool, milk and other uh, eatables in fact. All of that is being analysed to find out where the source of this uh, mysterious illness is coming from. As you know, uh, heavy metals like lead and nickel and uh, also certain uh, pesticide residues can cause these kind of neurological uh, conditions and uh, with the numbers in fact now 568 but as you mentioned the reassuring part is that uh, many people are recovering after a single episode that they are reporting of uh, falling unconscious. They are having an episode of fits for about uh, 3 to 4 minutes and they are possibly fainting. They are having a memory loss, anxiety and subsequently some kind of a headache but there does not seem to be as of now uh, any long lasting impact of uh, this kind of an episode that's happening but the government very keen uh, to get to the bottom of this uh, uh, two important aspects one is that yes it is not getting transmitted from person to person and the second aspect is that in the same family also you're having only about one person uh, reporting this disease so whether it's a common water source that is also not very clear because uh, not just in the Eluru municipality area, but from people uh, from outside are also reporting uh, this particular disease that uh, we are talking about. The, uh, uh, the other uh, important aspect that uh, they are uh, talking about is about 60,000 families have in fact been surveyed with a door-to-door -door survey. What they were doing for a COVID, they are now doing for this as well because uh, the Andhra Pradesh does have that kind of a missionary in place and trying to find out whether any more people are getting affected. Of course, across age groups, this happens happening and uh, across genders as well and uh, no permanent damage is what they presume it may be as of now but whether it's coming from milk whether it's coming from dal or rice or what is the part which is giving this kind of uh, ne uh, neurological condition that still remains a mystery and that's the reason why uh, you know the top institutes are all involved from the WHO World Health Organization, NIV, you have uh, other institutions of the ICMR, AWIMS, CCMB, IICT, all of them on the job of trying to find, uh, to, to get to the bottom of this. Of course, bacteria and viral uh, kind of spectrum that's uh, reported in these kind of areas, that has been completely ruled out and therefore they believe it could be pesticides and other kind of chemicals. Why it suddenly came up, why it is, uh, everyone is not showing, all those still remain um, unanswered questions.